Hello everyone, it's Physical Labs, and I'm back yet again, playing Modern Skyblock 3. And in between episodes, haven't done a ton, just a little bit of the grindy bits, right? So I've been getting some cobblestone, been cutting down trees, all that jazz, and uh, we're getting a little bit of cobble, not a ton. That's about, what, six or seven minutes worth. And uh, fighting mobs, you can see there, I got some uh, rotten flesh hanging up, turned it into monster jerky, because, well, we like to eat. And uh, yeah, doing the bits and bobs. I also made a little more dirt, so I have 24 here. So when we finally have the ability to kind of farm some stuff, I can actually make a farm pretty quick. I uh, guess that's pretty much it. I did get a uh, loot chest. I kind of had these ones done last episode and didn't open them. Desk bell from Biblocraft. More lamps. <laughs> stuff I don't need. Let's go there. And uh, there. You can see here. These, these, these loot bags. They're totally spamming me. They're kind of ruining my life a little bit right now. <laughs> Just a little bit. So we're going to deal with those real quick. Uh, well, we're not going to deal with them. I'm going to deal with them between episodes, but I'm going to get kind of set up to deal with them. Uh, I need to grab some stuff here, though. Let's do that. Bam. And uh, I guess I need some cobble as well, I think. Let's grab you. And uh, kind of get to this. So though, I'm gonna, how I'm going to deal with them is just a loot recycler and a trash can. Because it's the only way I have right now. I really don't have any way to automate anything yet. Uh, we're still very early into this, right? So... Bam, grab a loot recycler. You have to use a piece of iron. I did get five from loot bags. That's the only reason I have that. So yeah, loot, wa loot bags is definitely a way to get that. I also got some diamonds and two redstone. So that's actually kind of a big deal. But uh, I am going to kind of save it here. What else am I going to do here? Trash can. There we go. Let's grab that. Bam, and bam. There we go. We have these puppies. They are going to be very helpful. And uh, I'm going to just throw one here probably. And one here. And what I'm going to be doing is stuff like this. So I'm going to go say this, this. What else? What else do I definitively not need? Uh, I'm going to have to slowly go through things and see what's used and what's not. I don't need those. Uh, and see, like, I'll go to the loot recycler, see if it'll go in. If it'll go in, great. If it does go in, then it'll give us those points there. So 4,303 of 50,000. When that hits 50,000, we get a loot bag. Just a nice little free loot bag. I know from... You know, just the past that the uh, Patania stuff doesn't. So most of that's going to be going into a trash can. Because we're going to end up with doubles, triples, and quadruples of most things. Uh, but things like arrows will. So pretty cool. And I uh, will give us some free loot bags to kind of help me deal with this just building up mess. <laughs> okay, that's taken care of. Let's grab all our stuff here. Bam, let's throw you in there. You in there, and you in there. Okay, so, oh, one more thing I want to show you here too is... uh. This. We have a bag in our inventory. You click on that thing, it actually gives you access to your ender chest, so you can actually use it for storage. So I have. I know we're going to use that later, but I made this too, a camera. So the camera is a new item from Tinkers. A lot of people are yelling at me to make it. I didn't know it existed until this pack, so. And even after I thought knew it existed, after I think it was the first episode or the second episode, um, I still didn't make it because I just assumed that it was going to be in the tool forge. I don't know why. Anyway. You can use it to get you tons of leaves. So, pretty cool. Easy way to get plant matter. Uh, I'm going to cut those down. Just because it will give uh, mobs places to spawn on the top of those. And we're going to get into life infusion. Life infusion is used to basically make plants. Things like plants, dirt blocks, stuff like that. A lot of saplings. And uh, we're going to have to do this. To get into it, though, we need a cactus and a cactus needle. To get to a cactus, we actually need what's called a dehydrated cactus, which we can then hydrate with our... Uh, what is that thing? The extractor? It's an extractor thing. The thing we use to make clay. Um, compressed water extractor. There you go. But, uh, to make the dehydrated cactus, we need to do the combustion heater. Uh, we need uh, gray dye, plant matter, and bone blocks. So, we'll get to that. I think my extractor is actually here because I used it as a dump chest at one point. Yeah, it's right there. There we go. Because we are going to need that. How much water is in that? We're going to need uh, two more buckets, so we must as well get those now. Actually, I'm just going to make three, so I'll need one more bucket. There we go. That should be good. We got three. Sounds good. Now, uh, let's get to work here. Aw, uh, got me another... I need to go up there and slab those trees. I forget the correct height. I, but there's a height where you slab it, and it's just like the most beneficial height to slab it at. I'll have to Google. <laughs> Actually, I don't have to, because I know now someone in the comments is going to tell me. But anyway, we'll do that. Bam. Get some plant matter. We're going to need 24 of this because we are going to do three recipes, like I said. Let's do that. Let's actually get that out of our inventory because it's going to mess up stuff later. Actually, while I'm at it, let's get rid of that. Uh, we're going to need some bones because we need bone blocks. 
There we go. I did not need that many bones, but at the same time, I guess we could use them. Let's just do that. We'll do 24 of that. Pretty sweet. Get that out of our inventory. Actually, we don't need 24 of that. I don't know why I even assumed that. Let's actually clean that up. We actually need just three bone blocks. There we go. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And bam. So there's our first two parts. And the last part is light gray dye, which is actually we need this too. So let's actually put that there. And boom. The ink sacks. If you started on uh, the fishing island, you probably already have um, Everyone else is going to have to fish for them. <laughs> Wish you would have had to do that fishing quest anyway, so you should have them. Um, but, I mean, you could get RG'd. Otherwise, you're going to need a squid, bar, squid farm. And the book tells you to make a squid farm. I don't know if we need that many. I guess we'll see going forward. But uh, I think we're good to go there now, kind of get that recipe. Uh, we will need a piece of coal in there. Probably only need one. But, uh, we'll break this. Bam. And I should be able to just control Q these in, right? Yeah, there we go. Grab one of you. Bam, and there we go. We got one. And uh, we're going to do this three times, like I said. All we have to do to get these up to, you know, where we want them, which is actual cactus, is uh, probably spread them out. Probably spread them apart, because once they turn the cactus, so they may destroy each other. So uh, just use the water on the block, and uh, you get a cactus. Before I actually break them, though, I'm just going to shift right click one and get some of these cactus needles, which is pretty cool. Now, when I break that, I'm going to get a quest, but I'm going to do something else here, because I know it's coming up. We're going to need to make a uh, cutting knife and a compressed one, so we're going to need 18 of these cactus needles. So I'm actually going to take this one and just go like this. And I'm actually going to go back and forth, because it's kind of a cooldown. But you can see, every time I do it, of course, I take damage, right? And, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely an odd little mechanic. And this is part of the reason I made, went ahead to make sure I had monster jerky. So we had food to eat, because uh, no way were my apples going to handle it. There we go. We have that. Uh, let's go here. Let's actually grab that quest. Basic. Boom. Oh, yeah. It wants uh, the sand, sand and fusion stone as well. Kind of forget about that. So let's get that going. Uh, let's grab you. Bam. Actually grab two stacks. We're going to have to make some sand here. Not too big a deal. Bam. Let's do that. We're going to need a bunch of glass anyway. So, yeah, definitely something there. Um, do I have? Yeah, I have that. My grinder. Uh, the best way to do this, too, because this thing, it does kind of ore excavate, but in a very limited area. It's kind of a 3x3. Three three. So there's two ways you could do it. You could do it this way, where you do 8. Then you can just do your ore excavator and just break it all, right? Uh, the other way, I guess, is on top. I don't know. I, I don't think I've ever tried on top, so I don't know if it'll still do the 3x3 three three or not. I guess you could try that out. But, uh, yeah. Definitely, definitely a weird little thing, but uh, at least with the eight, you know you can get them all broken, right? So let's do that. There we go. That'll handle that. And that'll handle that. And there we go. That should handle that quest. Maybe? There we go. Here, quest book. Basic resources. And grab this puppy. I'm just going to grind up the rest of this stuff, though. Kind of get it done. But uh, first, I want to take a little look-see at this. More rich bone meal. And once we have bone meal, our rich bone meal for days... Uh, let's do that. Five, six. And break that. Bam. Did we get enough flint? Because I think I need some flint, too. Oh, I got a ton of flint. Okay, we're good. Let's throw you in there. Let's grab a stack of this. Might as well get glass going. Just something we should have. Let's do that. Let's do this. Oops, let's not do that. And that. There we go. The rest I'll kind of keep on hand for anything we may need. Which will probably be glass as well, but, uh, yeah. Uh, plus, we'll need three of that to be able to actually plant the cactus, so that'd probably be a good idea. So let's go over here. Let's plant these puppies, because I do need one more needle here. Plus, I want them to grow anyway, right? So, um, Snad is not in the pack either. I already checked that. Anyway, let's grab that. Have our needles. I should probably eat so our food gets filled up. Because uh, every time you do anything with life infusion, it hurts you. That's why it's called life infusion. And, uh, yeah, it's an odd little mechanic. Go here, bam, you and you. Grab some cutting knives. I do. I needed these. Grab this, bam, bam. And uh, if you go to use on these things, uh, they're for this. This for making this cactus fruit. You can also cut down melon, but uh, the cactus fruit can be used to make dirt. So kind of another way of getting dirt, but it takes seven and a half hearts. Part of the reason, actually, I think the main reason 
Why our health started off at eight is because of life infusion. Kind of gets you out of some things that take more than that. So, yeah, definitely, definitely something to be aware of. Yeah, give me that. Good. Okay. Grab that. We have our knives. We're done there. So the next thing we need to do, kind of get going here. We need compressed cactus, which is going to be me waiting uh, for cactus to grow. There's no way, no reason to rush that one. So I'm not worried about that. I do need grass blocks, though. So I need grass blocks so I can start, you know, bone meal and things and getting seed. So we're going to go here. We're going to have to make this, but we need seed and we need grass blocks. So let's take a look what we need to get to a grass block because it's all life infusion. Grass block. Bam. So to get one of those with life infusion, we need four seeds and the sandstone and that. And when you're looking at these recipes, the shield is what you hold in your offhand. So the seeds would go in my offhand. The infusion stone in my main hand, and I'd right-click a piece of dirt. Then it would give me a grass block. That is how it works. It would also cost seven hearts. But first, we need seeds. To get seeds, we need dead bushes. Dead bushes inside a uh, combustion heater, which isn't that big a deal. It's only 50 HU, a little bit of flint. Uh, to get the dead bush, though, we need to either put it on a drying rack and wait six minutes, or we could do the rotten flesh and that. So rod and flesh. I'll actually do one this way. I'm going to put the rest on drying rack just to show you infusion. So I need four monster flesh. Let's grab that. Or zombie flesh, I should say. There we go. Grab that. That's going to go in my offhand. This is going to go in my main hand. And I should just have to right click. So, bam. See there, I took a bunch of damage. I got my bush. And uh, we're good to go there. So we have everything we need. I'm probably going to do a cut, though, and wait for those to change. Unless there's anything else we could do right away. Actually, there is. Let's actually switch, switch over and uh, make this here. This is the uh, Magnetic Craft uh, Stone Hammer and Crushing Table. This thing is actually just used mainly in this pack. It says here for plates. So our first plates are going to come from here until we get another different way to do it. So let's actually get it done, though, So because it seems pretty easy, actually. Let's go Stone Hammer. Bam. Grab one of you. I won't even be able to use it yet because we don't have anything to crush, I don't think. So I can't even share the mechanic. Unfortunate, but uh, definitely a thing. Let's grab three stone. Go away. There we go. And bam. And bam. There we go. We have all that jazz. Go here and uh, find a little temporary home for it. We'll just throw it right there. Uh, I should have... I'm going to have to throw slabs out under those so they're not floating. But uh, let me smash. <laughs> anyway... Yeah, I think, yeah, I think we can, like, hammer things. That really turned... I just tried that on a whim. What? Really? Is that recipe even here? <laughs> I don't see the recipe. Let's go to, uh, what is it, crushing table? That seemed like a weird way to get uh, cobblestone. Anyway, use. Yeah, so you just put things down to hammer on them. So, yeah, mob head, some... Uh, turns into gunpowder, turns into these chunk things, which I think you have to run through a sluice box. So it's kind of a way to produce, uh, process ores early on as well. But, uh, it can also be used for a bunch of other things as well. So it can turn, I believe, ingots. Well, it turns on the bone meal. Pretty obvious there. But it's stealing it to a plate. Blaze rods. That's actually a good transfer amount for, uh, blaze rods 5. But, uh, it is going to be the way for make our plates most, mostly. Uh, early on in the pack so and okay we got our dead bushes here so we got everything we need there uh we're gonna have to take those and each one's gonna take uh two flint and throw those through the combustion chamber to get to the next stage here so let's get that going we can get them all going at once which is nice uh because the hu was only 50 per so we can do all five recipes at the same time because i think it was only 50 hu yeah per recipe so that is pretty cool do that bam and bam hit the button and we got our seeds. So now that we got our seeds, let's go back to where we were headed. Uh, what was I trying to make here? I was trying to get the grass block, right? So grass block. To do the last step of this is pretty simple once I could find it. Let's go here. Bam, bam. Four seeds, a fusion stone, and a piece of dirt. So we have all that jazz. That should be pretty simple. Uh, piece of dirt. I'd rather... I should have made one more piece of dirt. I'll need one more later for my farm. So I was going to do a 5x5 five five farm with a water source in the center. <laughs> I'll have to make one more piece of dirt. Not a big deal. Let's put that in our offhand. Put that in our main hand. 
Let's uh, get ourselves full on health. Probably a good idea. Do that. And that's the main reason I didn't do that, because you have to wait for the regen. And after you've done it for a while, the regen doesn't go fast anymore. It kind of goes really, really slow. So, yeah. Anyway, do this. Right-click that. And boom. We got our dirt block. Just like that. Pretty fantastic. And we get our quest. So, let's go over here. Go to basic resources. Let's claim this puppy. And why haven't we got more? Bring up and grow. <laughs> That's been growing for like a full day. Guess we're not going to get... Oh, nice. We get a whole bunch of charms here. These are from Reliquary. They'll make it so, yeah, you're invisible to mobs. But uh, we need... What is that called? There's like a belt. What is that called? Charm. Charm belt. There we go. We actually have leather. Oh, we need uh, fragments. How do we make these fragments? Looks like it could be any one. That one's actually cheap. We could do skeleton fragments. Uh, how many of those bone things do I have? Because I did break a bunch of them down. Or because I turned them all into regular bones. You guys can check real quick. If not, I'll do it after. But uh, I'll definitely use those charms. Yeah, it looks like I used the, bo the bulk of my rib bones. Anyway, we'll get back to that. We're into life infusion now. So we have the ability now to get seeds. It wants us to get a whole bunch. Whole bunch here. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I am going to have to kind of make an area here. We don't have actually an area um, to do this. I didn't actually think of that. Go here. Guess we'll grab some slabs. If I can actually look at the table. Make some wood. Do some slabs. Bam. Grab our dirt. Probably get a little farm going here. Where's my... Uh, Dirt. There we go. It's gonna drive me crazy, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna make one more piece of dirt because, uh, yeah, my uh, internal just uh, obsession is kicking in here. I was trying to put the water source right here, right? And uh, totally derped. I had to go make another piece of dirt and uh, yeah, made clay. I'll need clay anyway, but uh, at least it's there. Uh, I actually don't need this much dirt either, do I? I didn't even think of that. Uh, I didn't need to go get a dirt, because I have a dirt right here, because this is grass block. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know what I'm thinking. This is not going to be my farm, is it? This is going to be, this is going to be just grass. I don't know what I'm thinking. Anyway, I'll do that. I'm going to let that spread. I don't think we have access to any watering can. Watering can, do we? I don't think so. No, there's no way we're making this. We can't even work with this stuff yet. So, yeah, it just drops on the ground if you actually try to pick up Inferium. You can't even touch it. Uh, it doesn't look like we have access to the thermal ones either. Yeah, no watering can, so we're going to have to let the kind of natural spread happen. But uh, not that big a deal, but uh, definitely something we're going to have to do here. Might as well light this area up. I am in an ocean, so my ability to get passive mobs is uh, non-existent. Uh, something I need to be aware of personally. Uh, but at the same time, I hear there's cats. <laughs> I don't have them myself, but I hear there's like wither cats that people get in other biomes that are actually pretty rough because they can get out of your mob farm. Um, yeah, not my problem though. <laughs> anyway, that'll give me the ability to get the seeds. I will be able to bone meal that. So, yeah, I think I think I can. I think. I think uh, if I bone meal that jazz now. Because, uh, yeah, I can't bone meal the dirt, but I can bone meal that. I'll be able to break seeds, so. I'll be able to harvest all my seeds there, so that'll definitely work. I guess on the opposite side, I'll put my little farm. I will have to make more dirt. The next thing is going to be to get into the basic alchemy. And this is a little bit of work, so kind of get, got to get some stuff figured out here. To get in basic alchemy, so we need to get into, it says here, forever you're going to need catalyst, primus dust. So we need to work towards the dust. And it's a bit of work to get to it. There's actually a multi-block that we need to kind of build. Well, it's not really a multi-block, I guess. But if you go down here, the metal creation come down and where is it view set up here kind of shows you what you need to build so we need a casing and i think we need what's called a condenser and you don't need glass blocks it could be something else i'm probably going to use trap doors um this is actually just going to be a it outputs to the bottom so like a chest or something and then those are fluid droppers that we need a crucible <laughs> the crucible pulls the liquid uh which is actually like uh, a crystal and then we'll get to it. It's, it's hard to explain. Let's go to uh, alchemy. This stuff. So the primus dust. To make that is pretty easy. We just need some gum, gum powder, blaze powder, and charcoal. That's not a big deal. Okay. Uh, to make these. So the crystal. I, think I forget what it's called. They're like crystal shards. Let's go to uh, at sky. 
Sky resource is this stuff here. Crystal shards, which is glass in alchemical fusion. So in this table, um, which we're going to make here in a second. But first, we're going to make the dust, uh, which is just glass. And you get two. Then you need to melt that down, that little multi-block. It turns into a liquid, which you can then <laughs> use to make um, resources like iron and stuff. And we got to go through the whole process. So we're going to start it. Um, the first thing we need was the Primus. So the Primus is going to be three gunpowder, two blaze powder, and some charcoal. Look at the numbers one more time. <laughs> three, two, one. Okay. Pretty simple. So three, two, and one. Okay, I'm gonna close that off and bam. There we go. We get our, our Primus Alchemist dust. Was it Alchemist or Alchemical? I don't know. Let's go to basic resources. That is the first step of it. The second step is gonna be the fusion table. So let's take a look at the fusion table. Fusion table is one of those dust, one of these. Uh, we have stone in there. Looks like we have everything. Boom. Yeah, we got everything. We're good. Grab you. Guess we'll throw you in there. Bam. Got our fusion table. And pretty sweet. So you can put this thing down. Can't do much with it right now. But this thing remembers recipes. You can dump out recipes as well. Um, you're going to end up, if you want to do this efficiently with a lot of these tables, you basically want a setup for every recipe you're doing. But uh, we'll go over that at a time. So this is kind of the main step. The first step, I guess. Let's go here. Go to quest book. Let's go to the basic resources and grab that. Bam. Done. Next thing it wants us to do is make the stone condenser and two fluid droppers. So let's take a look at that. Stone condense. Bam. That is that. So we're going to have to waste more stone. Bam. Well, it's not really a waste. <laughs> Poor choice of words. There we go. Bam. That's fine. Uh, we have a wood casing over there. Let's just make another stone one. Oh, the fluid droppers. I don't even know the recipe for those. So fluid dropper. These things are a little weird too. They kind of work like pipes. They'll actually move fluids between them. So yeah, that's why it's telling you to make two. And uh, I think that's everything we need. Except for we need some kind of container that we can put under it. Preferably not a chest. And uh, I think there's one actually we could do called the box. I think. Yeah, this one right here is from Magnetic Craft. Boom. Kind of like an immersive crate. So we're going to use that one. And uh, we need a spot to put this probably over here somewhere, just to start. Then it'll probably get moved. Probably temporary. <laughs> Let's throw that there. Let's throw that there. So this will be where it exports to. We're going to want a stone casing. Bam. And then we're going to want the condenser. Bam. So that's kind of the first part of that. Uh, liquid's going to sit on top of this. Then we're going to have, you know, stuff in here getting cooked up and doing things, right? So we're going to grab... Uh, some trap doors, probably. I already have five. That makes things easier. Just to kind of get this in case, because it is going to have to hold a liquid in there, right? So, let's just do this. There we go. Prefer that over the glass, because, well, it doesn't take up. Even though it's the same space, it's not really, you know what I mean? At least visually. What's in here? Let's check you out. Pirate hats. I'm getting tired of seeing you. Go away. Anyway, so that's that. And uh, let's take a look at it. Because like I said, I've only done this once before. So so apparently we need two fluid droppers and that. I may do this setup right now. Because I think there's actually a more efficient setup we could do later. Um, but uh, we'll kind of do it exactly how they're doing it right now. So let's do that. I uh, probably will still need a log in there. Right? So let's do that. And uh, we'll need a way to get up there too temporarily. Bam. And up here, we'll want, I think it was like this, right? Check it out one more time. Use it up. Do, do. And we already have our crucible, so that's cool. Boom. Go over here. Crucible was, I moved it. Why do I move things? Uh, we should be able to throw that right there. And then throw a torch right here. Valid heat source, so it is working. And uh, it is just waiting for materials at this point. So, yeah, definitely something something done there. So, <laughs> doesn't even make sense what I'm saying. Anyway, we'll close that off. And we'll close that off. Bam. Awesome. Okay. So, to make this stuff 
the crystals. I'm pretty sure we need to grab glass. And did I smelt some down? I did. Good. Because for a second I didn't think I did. I think we have to uh, throw that in there, right? Okay, now that I slept, I think all we have to do now is put this Primus Fuel in here. There we go. And it's going to start pumping out uh, the shards we need here, I think. I don't think it does it every time. It's weird how it works. It's like a yield thing. And there's a ratio you can work out and all this jazz. Catalyst, catalyst yields 75%. Yeah, exactly. So it's not a chance. It's not a chance. It's actually the exact number. It's going to give you 75% of the amount. And there's better versions of this dust. So this dust. So bam. Go to... Uh, Let's go to at sky. It's probably easier to find it that way. So this stuff has 175. This one actually gives you 450. So you get four and a half times uh, the amount that you actually produce, right? And uh, is there more than that? Quartus, 3,200%. Wow. That's late game stuff right there, I tell you. But anyway, we got that. We got our crystal shards. Gonna go have you. And uh, we're gonna have to make some more of that Primus soon. But uh, yeah. Gonna need a way to get up there, and this is why I'm saying I'm probably gonna do it different later, because uh, this is a little wonky. Uh, to get this working, we just take these, we can just throw them in there. And you can see there, it starts melting immediately. Uh, but this is a little slow, I'd actually rather have lava under it, but uh, I may do that in between episodes. Kind of do a little... It won't be a cleaner setup. There's no way early on to really make this clean. There's a way to make it a little more efficient, right? So. Uh, once it gets a full block of liquid, though, it'll fill up here. It'll automatically get pulled from that fluid dropper, push down to this fluid dropper. You can see here the tank's getting full, then come down here and sit here. And I think it's almost done. Just kind of watch it here for a second to make sure the fluid comes out. Come on, do your thing. Can only hold one bucket? I'm not sure. I guess we're going to find out. Come on. I don't know how many crystals it takes per. I have no idea. So, if someone knows that, that'd be great too. There we go. We have our bucket. And that is pretty sweet. So, we have the first step of this, but we haven't done anything. We, we have this stuff, but we've done nothing, right? So, let's go and look at this. So, iron or chemical dust. This is how we get our materials. So, you need rotten flesh, some blaze powder, uh, the primus, uh, you know, dust. Inside the fusion table, you get one of these alchemical or dust. You then run that through the condenser. Condenser. You see here, there's like weird, like the, the, these multiplication, <laughs> and there's a way to like predict how much you're gonna get based on which condenser you're using and stuff like that, right? But uh, I, I'm not gonna math it out at this point. I wish someone just had a spreadsheet actually for each condenser. That would be actually wonderful. But uh, anyway, let's go and uh, make some primus. So the primus was. What was it? It was gunpowder, blaze powder, and what are these? It was three, two, one, wasn't it? There we go. We'll make one more batch of this. I just want to make one iron to kind of show you the mechanics. Then we could probably move on. Actually, it'll probably be the end of the video at that point, to be honest. There we go. Bam. Because we'll take you, throw you there, and push that button. Oh, we don't have enough fuel in it. So let's throw a little bit more in. Bam. Yeah, I have our dust. And uh, what was the ore one? Iron ore, because it wants us to make this. So we need one rotten flesh and two blaze powder. Of course, we don't have enough blaze powder. Uh, blaze powder was what, four? Four of this? No, it's one to one. And okay, we get all our blaze powder. Let's go ahead and make another fusion table. Let's do that. Bam. Like I said, I'm going to be making quite a few of these. And I did make some more Primus, so we're good there. Just enough to get us going. Uh, these are going to get moved anyway. But uh, if I switch this over right now, it's not bad right now because it's got nothing in it. But if this bar is partially full, it's still trying to make glass. Then you have to hit that dump button and you lose some of your, um, let's call it Primus Alchemical Dust Power. <laughs> so it's good to have separate tables. That's all I'm trying to say there. But, uh, we should be able to take that and that. It'll just recognize the recipe. I don't know how many of these we're going to get from one dust, to be honest. But uh, let's put two. Actually, let's put all three in. Get as much iron as we can. There we go. Pretty sweet. And uh, I'm probably going to have to make a little more Primus. Let's do that. Bam. We got three, two, one. I got to remember that. And boom, made some more Primus. So we're pretty good there. We do have eight of this alchemical or dusty stuff. So we're going to get over here. And uh, we're going to throw that in there. Pretty sweet. 
And, uh, yeah, this is going to be the grindiest part of the pack. Right here. Just doing this stuff. So, yeah, it's going to export it, I believe, down here. So we're getting our first iron ingots, which is actually fantastic. And that's all it does. It basically processes this stuff uh, using that fluid, right? And uh, <laughs> using the ore dust. And gives us our ores, right? Or our ingots, I should say. So, it's a weird mechanic. It's a little strange. I'm still wrapping my own head around it. Because it, it is a little different. And uh, I'm just going to have to kind of adjust to it over time. And uh, it is pretty cool, though. I mean, we are getting a decent amount of iron here. I don't know. We had, what, eight there? I have no idea how much I'm going to get in the end. But uh, I don't know if we have enough of this liquid either. It's one of those things you just got to keep keep producing. Keep producing. Keep producing. <laughs> you must just keep it going. Uh, let's throw two more of those in. Some of that in. You'll be going on through a ton of that glass. A ton of dust as well. Not dust. Uh, Gunpowder. Yeah, you'll be going through a ton of it. So... Get ready to keep getting that stuff. Get it automated as soon as you can. It's gone through, through and already gave a, given us eight. I'm actually going to take that and we're going to do one more thing here. Uh, let's go here. Let's go to Iron and Grate. Because I was told about this and I haven't tried it. I want to see if it works. Do we have a trapdoor in here? We do not. Let's go here. Trapdoor is this, right? Oh, I have a trapdoor on me. There we go. Even better, we have one left from recipe. But, uh, we need iron bars. Grab the... It was item grate. I thought it was iron grate. Oh, it is. Okay. Bam. This... I'm hoping this works. If it works, fantastic. Let's go up here. Let's go up here. Let's break this. And... Throw that there. It works. Ha ha! Ha ha! That's awesome. Okay. So it's still staying on multi-block, and we can throw items in there. I don't have to break every time, and uh, we kind of get our trapdoor thing going on again. So that is awesome. I'm glad I was shown that. Wow, fantastic. I can't even remember who it was, but uh, thank you so very much. And okay, I think we're going to wrap this one up here. Just going to let everyone know that I do have a Discord. If you want to stop on by, say hello. There's people always in there. Just uh, keep it classy. That's all that I ask. Uh, on top of that, I also have a Patreon. If you want to check, check that out, that'll also be down in the description. So that'd be very cool. Uh, but I am going to end this one here. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I want you guys all to have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Later!